Hi y'all, welcome back to our channel. Renogy has sent us their new top of the line 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate pro battery to test out. We're gonna be putting it through some extreme testing to see if it stands up to their claims of quality, reliability, performance, and safety. We're gonna to try to light it on fire, freeze it, drown it, and rattle it apart and see what happens. So stay tuned as we use and abuse this new Pro battery. First thing we have to do is pair the battery's built-in Bluetooth with the DC Home app. Click on the plus button in the upper right-hand corner, add the device, and hit confirm. The DC Home app will do the rest. From here, you can rename each device. We are charging the battery with a 20 amp AC to DC battery charger designed for lithium. You can also charge it with solar or a DC to DC charger. Here you can see that we've got a 19.1 amp charging current. One of the great features of some lithium iron phosphate batteries is that you can use them year round, regardless of the weather. Let's freeze it. To test the self-heating function, we're gonna tuck this battery in for a 12 hour deep freeze. We transfer it to our Iceco freezer so that we can keep it cold while heating and charging. The ice coat is set to two degrees Fahrenheit and the inside ambient temperature is under 20 degrees. The DC home app shows that the heating mode is off and the battery cells are at 14.7 degrees. Here are two low temperature warnings that the app displays. Now you can expect to see these warnings when the battery cells are near or below freezing. Now in order to start heating, the battery needs about four amps of charging current. All the charger is gonna do at this point is heat the battery. Here you can see the heating mode is on and the temperature is at about 15 degrees and there is no charging current yet. Just over an hour later, the battery temperature was up to 39 degrees. The battery is charging at around 16 amps with the additional four amps continuing to heat the battery. The inside temperature of the cooler remains below 20 degrees. 38 minutes later, the battery cells reach 51 degrees and the self-heating mode turns off. Now the battery continues to charge at around 19 amps. Here's a brief summary of our self-heating test with times, temperatures, and charging currents. Let's drown it. First, we're gonna splash it for 15 minutes. Then dry it off before hooking it up to our testing board which consists of a Renogy 700 watt inverter and a small lamp to show that it's still delivering AC current. Check. Then we're gonna let it go for a swim for another 15 minutes. Then we'll dry it off before hooking it back up to our testing board. Again, check. How is the Pro battery different from other lithium iron phosphate batteries in Renogy's lineup? First off, it is their only 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that includes both built-in Bluetooth for easy monitoring and a self-heating function for those who love winter camping. This Pro also includes high quality EV grade components and active backup protection, as well as a fire retardant casing, which is also waterproof and corrosion resistant. Finally, it has mounting holes for brackets so you can easily secure it to any surface, and all future firmware changes can be downloaded via the DC Home app using the OTA feature, so you'll always have the most updated version. Now let's return to a few more tests. Let's see if we can burn it. We're taking a blowtorch to the casing for a full 15 seconds. And it only leaves a little bit of a scoring, which is just cosmetic. It never ignited or even melted. Check. There you go, buddy. Now let's see if this Bluetooth will go the distance. We test the range of the Bluetooth under three conditions. The first is open air with no obstructions. It reaches about 40 yards before dropping. Then we put it inside the grill to simulate a metal battery box. 
Again, it reached about 40 yards. Finally, we placed it inside our truck, and you guessed it, it reached about 40 yards. Then to reconnect to Bluetooth, we had to get within 25 yards of the battery. Let's shake it up. We strapped the battery down to our testing board and loaded into the back of an ATV. Now keep an eye on that light bulb, y'all. Thirty minutes of the biggest bumps and potholes around the vineyard still didn't phase it. And the power just kept on flowing. Check. So welcome to Hamlet. We have temporarily installed the new Pro batteries and we're going to put a load on it by turning some of our appliances on. With the load on the batteries, they are discharging as we'd expect, at less than 30 amps. Check. It's passed all of our tests. Now we've put this Renogy Pro battery through its paces. Over the past couple of days, we have tried to light it on fire, drown it, shake it apart over some rough terrain, and freeze it solid. None of these common scenarios seem to phase it. Even after all the abuse, the battery just kept on performing. We would highly recommend the Pro Battery if you're in the market to do some off-grid camping or boating as it's ideal for marine use as well. After we've used these Pro Batteries for a couple of months, we'll check back in with another video and let you know what we think. Thanks so much for watching y'all and we will see you on the road.